The first step in building your own home biogas digester is to drill some holes. You need to drill a total of 7 holes, 4 for the lid and 3 for the body of the barrel. Let's take a look at the schematic provided on the screen. Comparatively, the holes for the slurry inlet and the outlet should be bigger than the ones for the two gas outlets. The dimension of the hole that needs to be drilled are as follows. 2 inches for the inlet, 1.5 inches for the outlet and half an inch for the gas outlet holes. So let's begin drilling. Use a hole saw that matches the dimensions mentioned earlier for this purpose. Once we have drilled the holes on the lid, we can now do the same for the body of the barrel. We will be drilling 3 holes which measure half an inch in diameter. Use a half inch hole saw for this purpose. The positions for the holes are as follows. One should be slightly below the lid, one should be in the middle and the last one near the bottom of the barrel. The hole at the bottom will act as a drainage hole and the other two holes are just extra slurry holes. So let's continue drilling. Once you are done, you should have something that looks like this. Next, you have to attach tank connectors to the holes drilled earlier. This is a tank connector. It has two washers and a plastic nut that screws onto it. Washers help to keep the digester airtight and the nut helps to keep it secure. The extra thread at the end makes it easy to screw on attachments such as other pipes. Be sure to use the right size tank connector that matches with the holes drilled previously. Let's begin working on the inlet portion first. Remove only one washer and the plastic nut. Screw on the tank connector into the hole. The other washer should be on the underside of the lid. Next, mix two part epoxy clay and mold it onto the sides of the tank connector. The epoxy clay has to be even on all sides to ensure that you can screw on the plastic nut easily later on. The clay is only molded to the outside surface of the lid. Once the clay hardens, it should look something like this. Repeat the steps for the outlet hole and it should look something like this. Put back the washer and screw on the plastic nut. For the two gas outlet holes, we will not be using epoxy clay as they are smaller in size. Directly screw on the tank connector and the plastic nut. Lastly, use some silicone sealant to seal the sides of all the connection. This ensures that everything is watertight. Once you are done, it should look something like this. that was used in this build has a curved surface, so epoxy clay was used to ensure that no leaking occurs.
The process to secure the tank connectors on the barrel is pretty similar. Just attach the tank connector and mold the epoxy clay around the sides of the tank connector. Here we molded it onto the inside and the outside surfaces of the barrel. This is how it looks on the inside. And the barrel should look something like this once it's completed. Step number three, preparing the blinds. If you have noticed, the tank connectors have holes that need to be kept off. You can buy a galvanized metal blind but it's prone to rusting and it's a little on the pricey side. To save some money, we will show you how to make your own blind. All you need is a PVC socket, a short length of pipe, and an end cap. Just use PVC glue and attach these pieces together. Voila! You have made your own blind. This now screws on to the tank connector and closes it off. Step 4. Screw the blinds on. For this step, just screw the blinds onto the tank connectors on the barrel. Use PTFE tape and wind it around the thread part of the tank connector to ensure a tight fit with the blind. Step 5. Cut and connect pipes that go inside the barrel. For the pipes inside the barrel, there are only two, which connect to the inlet and the outlet. Again, use the right size pipe to attach it to the tank connector. So if you're using a 2 inch tank connector, use a 2 inch pipe. The inlet pipe should go about 80 to 90% and the outlet pipe should go about 50 to 60% into the barrel. Use a saw to cut the pipe to length and cut one end of the pipe to a 45 degree angle. When assembled, the pipe should be immersed in the barrel. Use some PVC glue to connect it to the tank connectors on the underside of the lid. Once completed, it should look something like this. Step 6. Constructing the pipes that connect above the lid. Observe the provided diagram. This part is the inlet and this is the outlet. The middle connection is the gas outlet. The level of the inlet has to be the highest followed by the gas outlet pipe and the shortest being the outlet pipe. First, let's build the inlet. There are three main parts to the inlet pipe. The funnel, the ball valve, and the socket that connects to the tank connector. For the funnel, glue a 4 inch to 2 inch reducing fitting to a piece of 2 inch PVC pipe. For the outlet, we need to build this elbow part. All you need is two 90 degree elbow tees and a length of pipe. The length of pipe should be long enough so that one end reaches out to the perimeter of the barrel. Cut a short length of pipe which will eventually connect to one end as a guide pipe for the slurry to flow down into a canister.
For the socket, glue a piece of PVC pipe to one end of the socket. Do not forget to take into account the level of the inlet, outlet and the gas outlet when attaching the pipes to the socket as this will help to adjust the level. For assembly, screw on the sockets first. Then attach the ball valve and the funnel part to the inlet. Also attach the elbow part to the outlet and a short piece of pipe to the other end. Later on, you will need to add a small canister for the outlet slurry to flow into. Step 7. Gas Storage To store gas, we need something that can hold gas in a place. In this build, we use an old tire tube. The valve part of the tube has to be removed so that it can inflate like a balloon. We have to elevate the gas outlet level to be higher than the slurry outlet level. Do this by gluing a socket to a length of pipe. Finally, glue a tank connector to the other end of the PVC pipe. Prepare 2 meters of flexible hosing and cut it in half. At one end, connect it to the pipe elevation. At the halfway point, connect the gas valve and at the end, connect the tire tube. Attach the whole thing to the biogas digester and you're almost done. Step 8. Final assembly. Before you do the final assembly, run some leakage testing to make sure everything is watertight and the system works. If leaking does occur, apply silicone sealant to the leaking site. During assembly, position the gas bag, aka the tire tube, above the digester level. In this build, we just used an old pole and tied the tire tube to the top of the pole. Don't forget to place an old canister under the slurry outlet pipe and you're good to go. Mm -hmm.